everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics here i am again with the discussion of one more question from the economics optional paper 2022 all right so this is question number 1 part c so it came for 10 marks the question talks about in demand for money what are the major differences between transaction approach and cash balance approach so when we talk about the transaction approach and cash balance approach what does come to our mind so i'm writing the two over here so here we have transaction approach and here we have cash balance approach so what comes to our mind when we talk about the two distinctive approaches the first thing which comes to our mind is that where these two approaches are being used so where do we actually use them right so who were the people who traded money so when we are talking about demand for money who were the people who traded them to treated the money as trans for transaction purposes only and who treated it as a for the balance approach now if we talk about transaction approach the first thing which comes to your mind must be keynesians but talking about keynesians at the first go is not correct because the classicals were the first people who treated money only for transaction purposes so they said that money is veil the money is just used as a medium of exchange it is not going to or fetch you any income even if you keep it with yourself so that money is not going to increase the value of your output or your income now keynesians talked that money had an effect on income so when i'm said so there is a difference between transaction approach and transactions demand for money so please be careful while writing this answer so the classicals were the people who treated the transaction who treated money only for transaction purposes so what they said that whatever increase in money would come it will just increase prices we have quantity theory of money as well yeah so what does it say so it is in this way that increase in mv equals to pt so with the transactions and velocity is taken to be constant in the short run so any effect of money supply would be created only on the prices so wherever in transactions approach money is just treated for the medium of exchange it is not going to give you any value even if it lies with your with you it's not going to increase your income it's not going to increase the output in the economy it's just a transaction or uh, satisfaction um uh, unit or measurement way which you are using for yourself that is the transaction approach when i talk about cash balance approach so cash balance approach is something which was brought by the post keynesian developments also so in cash balance approach the people said the people who were following this approach like the tobin was also following this then um, we also have the friedman's restatement of money theory where he said that yes people are going to hold on to cash so what this theory or what this cash balance approach says is it says that money is used as an asset also so here we talk about the money flow that how many time the money is going to exchange hands but in cash balance approach we talk about the money being an asset so we are talking about the stock of money right we are talking about a stock concept and not the flow concept so they say that people hold on to money Uh, because it is treated as an asset why do you treat it as an asset even though it won't give you interest like if you keep it with yourself it's not going to give you interest but you can use it in your emergency cases whenever it is required whenever you have to pay for your transactions which are happening unexpectedly because the future is uncertain that's the point where this money can be used so the money demand is a proportion of your nominal income the k means 
that you are going to demand money as a proportion of your nominal income. So you won't be taking out all your money. You would like to keep some money with yourself as an asset. Whereas here we do not talk about any such relation. Here the money and prices have just any have just relationship. But here the money can affect the output of the economy. So this is about the differences between transaction approach and cash balance approach. So in cash balance approach, you can also mention about Tobin's portfolio. The Tobin's portfolio approach to demand for money where he said that yes, people hold on to a portfolio of money and assets. So money is actually treated as an asset and even in Baumol's theory the money is treated as an asset and that is why it's kept in inventory so you can mention about these theories while writing about cash balance approach but do remember that it's just a 10 mark question so please do not exceed the word limit so that's how you can talk about the differences in the two i hope you will find this video to be useful so please like this video, subscribe to the channel and do let us know in comments below how do you find this video.